Alright, well, hello everyone, and welcome to another video. This is Asol, and today, we are going to be doing a two-year anniversary edition of how to make your own 20th Century Fox intro in Blender. Now, you're going to need Blender, obviously, um, but one thing, you you can't do Blender 2.8 or later, because if, if you get Blender 2.8 or later, there's no Blender render, and you will not get good results, so, so what... No, I'm not going to be doing the traditional ones. I might do the traditional ones for another video. Um, now, I, I do have a folder link in the description. This is a whole bunch of 1994 logos. Like, Byline is, Star Wars even. But I am going... And this is what I made, you know. What, what, what. So what we're going to do is show you how to make your own 26 Fox logo. We just need to load it up. Now I recommend. I personally, when I download the folder, I just put it on my desktop. That's easier, you know. I don't have to go through a whole bunch of opening up and stuff like that. So I want to make this short and simple. So you can press Alt A to play to play the animation. Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted um, or anything like that. Um. So you, so. I'm pretty sure you guys are pretty familiar with, hopefully, if you saw my video, you're pretty familiar with Blender. Um, so, let's, so, let's say, uh, we want to change the number. Let's, let's, let's do 30, 30, 30, 30th, or 50th, or 69th Century Fox, or 420th Century Fox. Now, you can put, or let's say you, um, don't want, like, a number, you could, like, Delete the, the suffix, and then like center the twenty, and then and then put your text. Now, actually, as a matter of fact, I don't really need this for my logo, so we're just gonna press X and then delete, and then we're gonna delete these also. So let's, and then we're gonna put your desired text, which in this situation will be beautiful. As you can see, this is quite small. I'm gonna resize it. And I want it to be a little taller, so I'm going to put it like that. There we go. And then for that, we're going to put, and then click on, right click on Fox, press tab, backspace, and then put your desired text. For that will be productions. So now, so there we go. And also optionally, um, so, uh, so optionally, um, you could just put, like that or something like that, like for like Hollywood, and then you can play the animation. Now what you can do is render, an, before you render your animation, you can actually render an image. And this, this, this it's a little quick, you know, it's be, be patient because you know rendering is never rendering is not supposed to be very quick. So there's our logo. I'm just gonna wait for a couple. There we go. It looks pretty similar to the actual logo. Now I this is not the one I use. I use like a 1994 one. This is like a 1997 one. But like in the 40s, you can choose any one you desire, like and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. So I don't have so. You're, then you're gonna render your um, animation. Now I'm not gonna. I I did that actually, and I actually have a pre-recorded one. It's not like full on similar to this, but like you'll see the results, you know, at the end of the video. And yeah, render. You know. Now if sometimes it does does sometimes like if it ever does not like if it doesn't work, automatically imp like export to an MP4, you can screen record it and then crop it. So yeah.